Welcome to LeftSide91.com. Real anime inspired apparel made by a real apparel factory. The world's most unique and exclusive anime apparel designed for everyday use. The perfect cross between casual and cosplay. All so seamlessly. LeftSide91.com. Link will be in the description. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Michael Bowden here and you've tuned in to Left Side 91, our YouTube channel here. And But first, before we go any further, please be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for more notifications because we will be dropping more story videos on each of our product, which brings us to our Son Goku inspired Transcend. Um, I want to go into depth on the story behind this shoe. But first, you know, let's go into depth on the particular feet. Okay, we've got Left Side 91's very first product, Transcend 91. Obviously inspired by the legendary Goku from Dragon Ball Super. We call it Transcend because what do Saiyans do? They naturally transcend. Starting off with high quality blue synthetic suede for you animal lovers. Same with the black leather on the toe and the heel. And as you can see there will, there are two velcros, velcro straps as well as two buckles to follow it up really nice touch and we've got the all black sole that way it's really good on the feet and it's a it's a top sole today very powerful it all started with you know i'm home unemployed till i see tyler creator he's coming out he's dropping some really dope shoes as well as Kanye West with his Yeezy line and stuff like that and for the longest I've been wanting to get into business and uh, you know I'm also I was also a bit of a shoe head and I got like a small shoe collection and stuff like that but nothing crazy and so I'm wondering hey you know and I keep hearing this rumor like oh yeah you could get each you could get a shoe made for like ten dollars or whatever or, or Nike they have their shoes made for for, for, for $10 a, a pop and I'm like man that that concept is insane right that's just like that's like selling legal drugs or something like that and so I said hey I'm a bit of a shoe head but I'm also a nerd obviously you know shout out to the Dragon Ball fam 100% and you know I was trying to figure out okay well I've seen a long time ago if you guys seen those old school Dragon Ball Z um, shoes from Mexico they made their attempt, which was rather interesting. That was like, I don't know, I would say like back in 2012 or something like that. But they did, at the time, they didn't sell in the US. And then I also saw, you know, a someone personally that I, I know, and they make, they make shoes, but they were, I don't know, they didn't appeal to, I would say, everybody because, you know, it was his own unique design. But it didn't have a gimmick and so I, you know I'm a big fan of wrestling I love wrestling and in wrestling you don't get anywhere without a gimmick so I'm like okay you know if I do want to get into the shoe game it has to have some kind of gimmick or, or design or, 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 or theme or, or, or something uh, that 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 you remember it by and so I'm like okay I want to take a, a I want to take an attempt on making Dragon Ball shoes but we don't want to go the company in Mexico. We don't want to go that route because we've seen how that turns out. And we also don't want to be so casual where we get overshadowed by monsters like Adidas and you know Nike and stuff like that. We don't want to, you know, why why buy a casual regular shoe made by, you know, just some guy when you can just go get something that you know is of name of name worthiness, of name uh, value. And so uh, the first thing that came to mind was, in particular, was Dragon Ball because, you know, these legendary designs that Akira designs and they're not brought to real life outside of cosplay, that's just specific props. And so then it hit me, hey, let's mix casual with cosplay. It's never quite been done before. There's been, you know, inspiration, like there's been color palettes to represent said character, but not an actual shoe that's just pulled straight from the television show as a fair use of inspiration, which I know you're gonna, hey, copyright, you're gonna wanna copyright. Uh, no, this is, we're totally, we're, we're totally legal. Uh, we're, we're, this is all fair use. And technically, this didn't even exist in real life before. I mean, you can even see the differences, so we're pretty much not gonna go there. But anyways, uh, and that's what happened, and you know, 
two years of looking up and down for the proper factory to get the shoe made and finally uh, found the right factory, right conditions met, right terms and before I knew it I was running ads on Facebook and you know all to all my customers, to all the customers, let's say 91 customers out there uh, that gave you know this shoe, this company a chance uh, we wouldn't be here without you. I hope that pretty much unveiled or answered so many so many uh, customers questions on you know the origin of website 91 and particularly how it started that's how it started but again please don't forget to like comment subscribe and also let me know uh, what is your favorite product down in the comments I you know we'd love to hear and also some feedback of some things that you guys you know might want to see made um, if you're a follower of the patrons will all be in the description down below but anyways guys Love you guys. Take care.